Those who make their living from the sea share a common heritage and a knowledge which dates back many centuries. Different cultures, different centuries, yet fishermen know each other's past, present, and future. They know why they build the boats they build and why they long to sail them. Perhaps they even share the same dreams. Building a boat is an expression of hope, a sign of faith that there are glory days to come. Building Blue Nose was all that and more. Yet who would have known when they laid her keel, set her ribs and knees, and sheathed her planking? Who would have known they were building a national symbol and the fastest Grand Bank schooner to have ever sailed? The Blue Nose had made herself undisputed champion of the North Atlantic fishing fleet, and that honor was never to be taken from her. What made her so fast? The whole object in moving a vessel through the water is to move it as easily as possible. Where the hull meets the water, there's resistance. So you have to move that water, and to move that water, you need power. In a sailing vessel, the power comes from the sails. And if you're having to make waves to move your vessel, then you're wasting power. Blue Nose wasted little power. When Blue Nose was launched on March 26, 1921, in Lunenburg, Nova Scotia, she slid smoothly into the cold blue Atlantic. Finally, Blue Nose was in her element. Angus Walters has been credited with saying that the break of the masts and the position of the masts made Blue Nose mathematically perfect. Now, I don't know of any mathematical formula that says this, but I do know that the position of the masts and the area of the sails have to be balanced with the area and the profile of the hull. And when that happens, a ship is balanced. Sailing ships represent an ideal of unlimited power in harmony with nature, and none was more idyllic than Blue Nose. Her incredible speed and unbeaten record as a racing schooner made Blue Nose the stuff of legend. That's why Rick and the team are so eager to find her resting place and pay tribute to this magnificent ship. Tomorrow, they'll get their chance to chase their dream. Tomorrow, they will dive for Blue Nose.